Hello and welcome to another video about photography. Today it will be mostly about paper negatives and the way I expose and develop them. I use uh, Former Speed 311 mostly because I have a local dealer that I have easy access to. I expose the paper at about ISO 8 to ISO 12. In the video behind me I tried ISO 16 and that was a failure. It, you know, I didn't get enough shadow details. I had to try to save the pictures by uh, post flashing them while in the bath because I discovered it too late that it was too dark. And I was not really happy about it. But when I use ISO 8 to 12 I also use a yellow filter in front of the lens to control the high contrast light outside because the paper negative is sensitive to blue light and to UV light and the blue sensitive layer of the film is the high contrast layer where people have most problems with outdoor lighting uh, and paper negatives because it's difficult to evaluate how much UV light you have, too mu how much blue light there is, how strong the sun is and so on. Um, a yellow filter will fight this for you. You will get a lower contrast image because you are mostly exposing the green sensitive layer which is much better suited for outdoor lighting in the sunshine at least. I compensate for the filter. The yellow filter needs a compensation of one stop, so I, may, I put my light meter at uh, ISO 4.5 to ISO 6, depending on the subject matter and what, how I think it will be. Uh, then I develop it normally, as I would do a positive print in a normal paper developer. No extra dilution, because uh, the negative has been exposed in a low contrast light and I develop it fully uh, at 1 minute 30 seconds with my developer. This will depend from the type of developer you use of course and how much time you need and the temperature in the room and I always check uh, when to stop it but I could develop it like a film using the standard 1 minute 30 seconds if I wanted to in completely darkness and I would get very good results always I'll try to show you the negative here I'm not sure how good it turns out in uh, in the camera but as you can see I have pretty decent uh, contrast levels here. It's not too contrasty. There are details in the shadows and the highlights. Also here in this picture I tried to actually capture the wind. Believe it or not it was a windy day and I used my Intrepid 8x10 uh, and it worked well in the wind because I have a sturdy tripod but when I take pictures indoors I may skip the yellow filter because then I don't need it or if I have very dull light I might think that okay it's time to use a more high contrast paper and uh, as with uh, any film photography I expose for the shadows and I develop for the highlights 